The Fat Controller. This book is a collection from Thomas and Friends. Hello everyone, I'm Bhavisha Ditya. Let me read a story for you. To the trains. This is a story about me, sir, top and hat, or the fat controller. As my engines call me, I have low trains ever since I was a boy but engines are sometimes as the troublesome as trucks one morning the fat controller was eating his usual breakfast toast and marmalade lady hat was pouring him a cup of coffee when the telephone rang brother the telephone said the fat controller frowning i am sorry my dear he said to lady hat a few minutes later the engines are not behaving themselves i must go at once engines are on my way do as they are told when he arrived at the main station there was a tremor and noise the passenger waiting on the platform were angry the fat controller went into his office and sat down behind his desk moments later the station master knocked on the door that is trouble in the shed sir he said henry is sulking that's no train under the, the passengers are saying this is a bad railway in the said the fat controller we can't allow that at the shed the fat controller found god then James and Henry looking very cross. Come along, Henry. It's time your train was ready," said the fat controller. Firmly, Henry is not going," said Gordon. "We won't shunt like common tank engines. That is Thomas' job. We are important tender engines." Fixture coaches and we will pull them. Then the engine don't sh- shunt. Huff Henry. Ho oh, Indy, said the fat controller. We will say about that engines on my railway. Do as they are told. And he hurried away in his car to find Edward. The yard. has never been the same since thomas left to run his branch line he thought sadly and he took out a handkerchief to mop his brow mean while edward wash some lidos trucks please edward said the fat controller i want you to push the coaches for me in the yard thank you sir that will be a nice change said edward happily that's a good engine of you go then so edward found coaches for gordon james and henry and that day the trains ran as you saw but the next morning edward looked unhappy gordon came clanking past he sang rudely bless me said the fat control what the noise they all his me sir sighed edward they say tender engines don't shunt and that i have dirty wheels like the trucks i haven't have i sir you have nice blue one edward said 
fat controller kindly tender engines do shunt but we need another tank engine here the fat controller went to the workshop and inspected our sort of engine at last he saw a little green tank engines with four wheels that's the one he thought the fat controller knew a really useful engine when he saw one if i choose you will you work hard he said oh sir yes sir peep the little green engine smile the fat controller that's a good engine i will call you percy and he drew him all the way back back to the yard edward he called here is percy will you show him what to do percy soon learn what needed doing and edward had a happy afternoon then henry steamed by he sing as usual we wished little percy his back henry was so surprised he almost jumped off the track the next day the fat controller arrived edward thomas and percy were excited he told the engines that henry gordon and james were sucking they refused to shunt like common tank engines so i have shunt them in the shed i want you to run the line for a wire common tank engines indeed snorted thomas we will show them and percy will help thank you sir whistle percy with with delight edward and thomas work the main line pee pee ping to each other as they pass by percy puffed along the branch line carrying passengers to their stations thomas was worried about annie and clarabel but his driver and god promised to look after them there were few things but the passenger didn't mind they knew the three naughty engines were being taught a lesson in the shed gordon james and henry were cold lonely and miserable there was no call for them no wash down and they missed their passengers they wished they hadn't been so silly the next morning the fat controller visited the shed he could see that the engines had learned their lesson we all saw sorry sir said gordon we were too big for our buffers added james remember only really useful engines can work on my railway said the fat controller he knew just how to handle difficult engines from that moment on the three tender engines were never rude to tank engines again the end thank you for watching Hope you like the story today. Visit our channel to watch relogs of other Thomas and Friends story books. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channels.